In this video we're going to cover a few tips on safe intraocular lens implantation. I would recommend using cohesive viscoelastic over the techniques used without viscoelastic here. It's super safe and it's easy to remove. Going over that again, just waste a bit of viscoelastic outside the eye to avoid bubbles. Inject generously into the bag as you enter that avoids contact with the posterior capsule. Get a complete bag fill and aim to fill the anterior chamber generously, ready for lens injection. We're going to concentrate on a one-piece C-loop hydrophobic acrylic lens platform here and a fairly basic injector system which is very widely used, which is a screw injector with a 2.2 millimeter cartridge. The cartridge is filled with viscoelastic and the lens is introduced by the trailing haptic and we just reach across the optic, squash down the distal edge there before picking up the posterior haptic again to fold it into the now concave lens and bring out the lens to also fold the anterior haptic within the optic there. Seeing that again in slow motion, filling the cartridge so the viscoelastic is spilling out of the end of it is very good because it stops the optic of the lens sticking to the naked plastic on the way in there. Then we're reaching into the cartridge over the top of the lens optic with the Kelman McPherson's depressing the distal edge of the optic rather than touching the center of the optic to avoid instrument marks. Taking the posterior haptic into the concave optic there and just pulling the lens out to crimp that anterior haptic back into the concavity of the optic there before we advance it as far as possible up the cartridge there for engagement with the plunger. Okay, we're ready to introduce the intraocular lens, but before we do, let's just make a few basic points. First of all, when we're engaging the cartridge into the entry site here, we just engage the cartridge in the external ostomy of the entry site so we can do a wound assisted injection. This tends to stretch the entry site less. But an important point to make here is that the cartridge has to go underneath the anterior lip. I regularly see people folding the anterior lip into the cornea as they try to engage the cartridge. This never works well and it tends to stretch the wound. So we're going to introduce the cartridge underneath the anterior lip of the entry site there. Second point is to ask the patient to look towards you so you get a nice pressure on the side of the eye here. It's much easier than using forceps to help you engage the cartridge, much more comfortable the patient and easy to do under topical anaesthetic. But as soon as you've got the lens unfolding in the eye, you want to ask the patient to look straight at the light again so that the eye is not moving towards you as you disengage the injector. Then you're ready to fully advance the plunger over the optic of the lens to use it as a manipulator and this gets quickly over the top of the optic to stop the lens behaving in an uncontrolled way as it unfolds in the anterior chamber. Okay, let's see that. Teasing up the anterior lip of the entry site there with the cartridge as we engage it, asking the patient to look towards us to maintain our position and then looking straight ahead as soon as we've got the lens unfolding in the eye, advance the plunger fully and use the plunger to manipulate the lens optic into the bag. Then we can finish off with some rough positioning of the optic. This is a toric lens in this instance, and we're leaving it about 10 degrees anti-clockwise, the blood vessel or mark we're lining up on. And there we are, ready to remove the viscoelastic. So clearly there are a lot of lens injection systems out there and a lot of different types of intraocular lens, but uh, this is a common type of lens and a widely available system. I hope that some of the points made here will be generally applicable. I particularly like the plunger over the top of the optic as an instant manipulator after lens injection. This is something you can't do with some of the more modern preloaded lens injection systems. I'd just like to finish off with a really interesting feature in this case, and that's that we have in fact got a small crack shown here very nicely when we're washing over it with the Simcoe in the peripheral lens optic. Cracks in the optics are not uncommon during lens injection, and providing they're well out in the periphery, as here, you don't need to do anything about it. But if you've got a crack in the middle of the optic, clearly the lens has to be exchanged, and there are lots of nice tricks for that that we'll show you in another video. Okay, there it is. I hope there's some useful points there. Next time we're going to look at the cortex cleanup.